Hi folks, so welcome back to the SO Forum channel. Tonight we have a full moon, as you can see in my window. <laughs> um, so let's see here, you can see it here. Here it is, very nice. So what I wanted to do tonight is just to check out this one shot color camera I have. Uh, my 178 MC Cool. Just, uh, I wanted to show you how it will perform on the moon. And also, uh, Jupiter will be out tonight. So, I will be focusing on Jupiter as well. And just one uh, extra comment. Uh, I have this 80 millimeter meter APO refractor. So, I don't expect uh, a very large view of Jupiter. It will probably be a dot. But I have some help. I have this one. So we have the 2.5 Barlow, um, it's a telescope service Barlow lens. And uh, we will see how it uh, will perform. I will use that uh, on Jupiter and maybe also the moon. So you can see also the difference in um, uh, field of view. Okay, uh, let's see how it goes. So hi folks, uh, I don't know if you ever experienced this, but uh, I put up my telescope and align everything. And now the moon is passing behind the building. So we have here uh, this beautiful uh, artificial eclipse. Uh, I just wanted to uh, start making a video on the 178 MC Cool and how uh, the moon looks. And you can still see it a little bit. <laughs> um, so we'll just wait for half an hour until the moon will uh, clear the building again. and. Uh, while enjoy this uh, artificial uh, eclipse, uh, unfortunately without the red moon. <laughs> so so uh, here you can see what's happening. So my telescope is over there, the moon is over there. And unfortunately, when we go outside, <laughs> uh, yes, my camera still has the view, still has the view. Um, but uh, yes, not anymore. So let's wait for about a minute and maybe we can look at how the moon will appear behind this building, reappear behind the building.
Um, but yeah, I would say yeah, I would be very satisfied with this. Um, so let's go back to 33%. And yeah, of course we can also, I'm using now Sharp Cap eh? and um, let's see if we want to take a video. You can just put it at uh, RGB 24 and this will enable you to uh, check uh, the uh, AVI file, the AVI file to get, uh, to get a video. And I think when I do now start capture, I can just say, okay, I want a one minute video. Um, and I'll press start. Let's see how it goes. So, uh, hi folks. Uh, I just uh, uh, put Registrex uh, on. So Registrex, uh, I'm using uh, version 6. Um, and uh, what you can do here is, uh, here, this is the... Uh, the AVI file, uh, the one minute uh, AVI file I just uh, captured. You can select it um, and then it will show you this. Um, well, I don't know everything about uh, uh, Registech, so I will make this a brief video. Uh, but what you can basically do is you can scroll here through all of the frames, so we have 238 frames in total, and you can just see what kind of frame will is the best frame. And you can use that frame as a reference point. Now I don't see a lot of differences between the frames, so I will just take this one, uh, frame number 121. Uh, and the next thing you do is just uh, set align points. So it will um, select all kinds of points uh, and it will take then uh, all of the frames and it will take into account the small uh, changes in... Um, yeah, in the in the the positioning of the moon due to the uh, the effects of the atmosphere uh, we have. So you can just press align, and it will then do its job, and it will align all of the 238 uh, frames. And uh, yeah, this uh, takes a while. So uh, let's fast forward. <laughs> So yeah, once you have uh, set the alignment points and aligned uh, all of the frames, then you get uh, to this um, uh, tab, it says limit. And, and basically I don't really know a lot of these settings, so I will not, uh, not go into that. <laughs> but what I do know is, uh, yeah, you can, if you look here, you can uh, say like, okay, I want uh, I want all of the frames in, maybe the, just the best frames, maybe you want to stack all of the frames and you will then see that uh, it will take 238 out of 238 frames, but you can also say now I want the best like 90% and then it will take 240 out of the 238 frames. So uh, well, I think uh, the video was pretty good, so I will take 95% uh, or something. Um, and if I'm correct, you can just press limit and, uh, okay. And then it says stack and stack basically means that it will, it will now uh, stack all of the, okay. Low quality. It says, okay. It will stack uh, all of the 226 uh, frames. Um, and you can just press on, press on stack and then it will, uh, it will proceed on stacking uh, those frames. Uh, let's see. This may also take a while, so uh, if it takes a while, we have to fast forward, right? So yeah, here we go. Um, this is then the stack the picture of all of the, the 225 uh, frames I have selected. Um, and then the, as a final thing, you can uh, play a little bit around with uh, uh, Registex by uh, choosing Wavelet. And I know, I'm again, I'm not an expert, I know, but you can let's move these, you can move these sliders around a little bit and it will make uh, the moon a little bit more sh sharper and vibrant. Well, let's pull these out a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing, so please check another video if you want to know all about the wavelet uh, positions. And I know that, okay, once you've pulled it, now you can see that I think this area... Can I zoom in actually or not? 
uh, well, this area is now processed, so you have to click do all to see the effect. So this is the... Uh, so it's now processing the... Uh, you can see here that the moon gets a lot sharper um, as compared to um, the picture we used to have. And, uh, well, actually this looks pretty nice. Eh? So uh, if you're happy with this, then you can uh, save the image. Um, so I would say this is the moon uh, processed and how does a wavelet applied, whatever. So, and then you can also choose what you want, a BMP, a JPEG, a TIFF file. So I will choose a TIFF file and I will uh, save it. Um, can I now also... Um, I want to uh, let's let's see if I can um, delete those settings <laughs> because uh, what I want to do actually is um, I want to post process. What I would like to do is post process it in uh, in Lightroom and not uh, not using uh, Registex. So maybe you have another uh, opinion about it. So uh, I'm curious to see what you what you think. Uh, so actually we can do that. Let's uh, see, I think I'm now getting the picture without the uh, modifications of the wavelet. So I will save that and then uh, work on Lightroom a little bit. Or maybe Photoshop. I will choose Lightroom for this one, I think. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, working here with the PNG file because the TIFF file that is exported from Registex 6, it will not... Uh, it's, it's not... Uh, it cannot be imported into Lightroom. I don't know why. So, yeah, let's see. Let's fill it maybe a little bit more. Ah. Um, what can we do? So, uh, maybe we want a little bit less saturation, for instance. A lot of people like the moon as uh, portrayed like this. And actually, you now. Okay. It is a bit... Okay, we have the whole moon. I was a bit worried that we did not get uh, the low end, but it's all there. Um, so we can maybe desaturate it a little bit. Or maybe go all the way. Uh, and then the next thing I always uh, do is uh, push up the clarity. Let's see. Uh, clarity. But it is maybe a bit, bit um, it's always a bit hard, but if you go too much, it looks like this. And then, I don't know, it's not, it does not feel like a real representation of the moon anymore. So, um, I'm always trying to get in a little bit of clarity, but not too much. Maybe enough to see uh, um, a, cl a clear, the, the lines a little bit more clear. Uh, and the grate a little bit clearer. So, something like this. Well, it still is not a perfect, uh, it's a little bit hazy still. Okay, um, blacks, you can play a little bit with that. But I generally, I would not change a lot about the moon. <laughs> Maybe desaturate it, a little bit more clarity, and then, uh, yeah, you can play around with it, of course. But um, I think this is a pretty nice, uh, nice picture already of the moon. Uh, Let's see what did we have. We had this one. Then we desaturated. Now maybe just the desaturated one is also fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm generally I'm not uh, really a fan of uh, of uh, I do a lot of doing a lot of post processing on the moon because the moon is it's just the moon. Maybe get the clarity a little bit down even. Maybe something like. This is enough already, I would say. Uh, maybe exposure, you can do it a little bit, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Sometimes when things are okay, they are okay. Um, lights. Yeah, you can overexpose it. But let's not do that. Shades, no, it's fine. Maybe a little bit less shades, that's maybe nice to show a little bit more of the moon. 
it will take in that uh, that lower part. Uh, right, so here you have it. Pretty nice, it's not uh, completely sharp. Uh, yeah, so uh, what you can do to further sharpen uh, the moon is uh, you have just uh, the detail section where you can uh, upgrade the sharpening and that really helps a lot. So let's take for instance this crater, so you see that uh, it's a little bit vague, it's a little bit hazy. But when you crank up the sharpening, you can really see that this crater is coming out more, or li like nicer I would say. But it's always a little bit of a hassle because sometimes it gets uh, the picture gets uh, gets a little bit harsh. But in this case, it can handle a lot, I think. So let's see what is the difference between this and this. Yeah, it's nice to have. The, I would go for all out on this one. <laughs> but uh, you have to take it uh, like every picture for itself and see uh, what what you can do. Um, so yeah, this is actually nice. So you have a clear view of the crater now and of Tycho crater, I think. And, um, so we can now move on and save it. So we can export it. Maybe full moon a JPEG. Nah. Let's put it on a TIFF file. And yeah, okay. So we can just export it. And uh, you have it. Uh, so the full moon, I think, uh, yeah, pretty successful with uh, uh, the ASI 178MC uh, cool. Um, so at least for the moon, uh, I would uh, uh, highly recommend this uh, this camera. It's a good, very high quality camera. Um, we did not manage to take pictures of Jupiter, so I will uh, have to see how that goes. And also, I have an 80 millimeter uh, refractor, so. Um, yeah, that will be uh, kind of uh, difficult because uh, Jupiter will be very uh, small in the field of view. Um, but okay, maybe um, at a later point I will uh, uh, upload a video on that uh, so that you can see uh, what can be done with the uh, 178 MC cool and the small refractor. <laughs> um, right, I have some videos. Uh, I have some. Uh, also took some uh, took some uh, videos uh, using the 2.5 Barlow uh, lens. So I will also share those pictures with you at the end of the video as well. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me uh, in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.